Look at that. What a postcard. Just a just a horde, an absolute army of kangaroos. Just massacring a heap of turtles. Turtles. That's a word now. How's it going everybody? My name is Finplayer. We're back and we're playing Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. Today we're going to be taking a look at the kangaroo. That's right, there's a new unit. It's a kangaroo. The animal from my national emblem is is in this game. And it's it's going to be fighting all the dudes. I thought what we'd do is we'd try to do like a, an animal battle. I thought we'd do chickens versus penguins versus tortoises versus kangaroos. I thought that'd be awesome. So we'll go for like maybe, maybe like 2,000 a piece. And we're just going to go for the standard ones. Alright, we're not going for anything crazy. But what we're also going to try in this video is uh, some teaming. So we're going to team the kangaroos up with like something else and make it fight something. I thought that'd be really cool. Here we go, we've got our four armies. This, this one's going to be called Battle of the Four Armies. That's what we're going to call this. I don't know why, because they're not really armies. They're kind of, they're kind of like tribes of animals in like a really creepy possessed way. Kangaroos do this though, I'm not kidding. Like in Australia, you go for a drive in the outback and then all of a sudden, kangaroos everywhere. It's exactly like this, and they shoot lasers from their eyes. You might not know that, but they do, like lasers straight from their eyes. And that pouch, that's full of weapons. <laughs> like just loads of weapons. Anyway, let's hit play. Let's do this. Oh, nice one. The kangaroos actually hop. This is so realistic. This is the best. Okay, I'm not seeing any lasers though, so it's it's not that realistic. The kangaroos are just kicking the hell out of those tortoises. Look at them. Just just smacking the hell out of them. This is great. This is so good. Like all the uh, all the armies have sort of like split up. They've split in half even. And the penguins are just absolutely chopping through the chicken, just going to town. Chewing all the wings, and the kangaroos just dominated that round. Oh, look at that, it's a love heart. Look at that, isn't that nice? And they got like a yin and yang thing going on over there. So that's pretty bad. Oh, those chickens are gonna get wrecked. They're in like a kangaroo penguin sandwich at the moment. Kangaroo penguin chicken sandwich. That sounds great. Let's get some lettuce and mayo on that bad boy. Oh, yes. Kick them in their little beaky faces. This is good. I hate penguins, the scumbags. Scumbags. They collude and, and they're just they're not nice people. Whichever team does the worst, which is clearly the, the chickens at this point in time, right? They they sucked hard. Really bad. They're gone. We're gonna team them up with the, the one who wins this. That way it's hopefully fair. We'll see how it goes. Come on guys, what are we doing? Oh, those penguins are gone. Wow. Wow. Kangaroos are dominating. This is incredible. This is like the opposite to that Happy Feet movie. They've formed like two almost identical shapes. That's weird. That is so weird. Okay, oh, the kangaroos are switching it up. They're switching it up. All right, oh, I think they're starting to pile up as well. They're starting to pile up on the tortoise corpses. Oh, look at that. It's like a scene from one of those, uh, one of those ads where they try to get you to donate money to some animal thing. Yeah. I'm always dubious about those sort of things. After hearing about so many charities that just take your money and run. Like, what are you supposed to believe? I don't want to see a whole bunch of clubbed penguins. Like, nobody does. But I also don't just want to be lying, you know, someone else's pockets with my money. This is totally unrelated. <laughs> Come on! Kick those tortoises in their little tortoise faces. Look at them! Look at their face! Get to kick them in! Kick them! Come on. You got those big kangaroo feet. Did you know? that they actually consider kangaroos to be tripedal. That's right. And that's because they actually use their tail as like a form of getting round. So they actually, you know, they, they lean on it and they use it just like they would. Not completely like their feet, but uh, but much like, you know, their feet, it does get some use in, uh, in transport and things like that. So they're tripedal. Isn't that crazy? Look at that. What a postcard. Just a, just a horde, an absolute army of kangaroos just massacring a heap of turtles. Turtles. That's a word now. And uh, as you can see, the sun has gone down. It, it's completely night time, but it says the weather is mostly sunny with some sun. So uh, that's highly accurate. Um, and they're almost dead. We have 60 to go. So it looks like the kangaroos are gonna be teaming up with the chickens 
for the battle against the tortoises and the penguins. This is going to be interesting. It's going to be incredibly interesting. After that, though, we're also going to take a look at making some custom units because they've now made it so that each unit can be a melee unit or like a, uh, a projectile type unit. How that works, I don't know. We're going to take a look. All right, there's one left. Where is it? It's dead. Nice. Team Kangaroos. Way to go. Oh, look at this. This is incredible. Look at all those kangaroos. We have 2,000 of each. All right. But uh, we've got the kangaroos teamed up with the chickens. And we've got the uh, the penguins teamed up with the tortoises. This is going to be an epic battle. This is going to be really good. I've got the kangaroos actually, like, protecting the chickens. Yeah, they're, like, right behind them. Because I figured that if the chickens just went, like, up front, you know, it'd be like Operation Human Shield. And that wouldn't work too well. So, uh, except for Chicken Shield, I suppose. Let's go ahead, hit K, see what's going to happen. All right, so we want the kangaroos to be protecting those chickens. I wonder if we're going to have any chickens left by the end of it. I don't know. I don't know. Those kangaroos are pretty tough. The penguins are already dying by the hundreds. <laughs> Look at these chickens. They're like, oh, this is a pretty sweet deal. This is pretty good. I think we got some good mates in this one. What do you think about Greg? Yeah, I do. This is much better than laying eggs. You ever tried that? It's like trying to suck a watermelon through a hose pipe. We've only lost 30 kangaroos. Wow. All right, that's, uh, your chickens are sort of starting to get a little bit game. Probably not a good idea there, guys. Oh, the penguin's almost gone. Penguins are almost dead. The kangaroos are just dominating them. Get wrecked, penguins. Get wrecked, buddy. Now you won't be dancing anymore. Those are some sad feet they are. All right, kangaroos. Come around. Form a shield of sorts. A delicious kangaroo shield. That's right. I said delicious. I've eaten kangaroo before. It's pretty tasty. They make good steaks. You think I'm joking, but I'm not. <laughs> I've even had kangaroo jerky. It's not very good. It's like really gamey, and it doesn't really work for jerky. But for steak and like sausages... Kangaroo is, is brilliant. It's really good. Oh, look at this. Just a couple of kangaroo corpses lying around. Look at them. See plenty of those in Australia if you go for a drive. They get on the road and they just get hit by cars. It happens a lot. You know, I think we might actually have some chickens left by the end of this. Th that's good. We can have wings later. That'd be awesome. I've always wanted to try buffalo wings. I've never tried buffalo wings. If you've tried buffalo wings, let me know in the comments below. What buffalo wings taste like? I imagine they're delicious. I think they're like spicy or something, aren't they? I don't know. They're not really something that you get in Australia. Unless you go to like a, like a restaurant that specifically does like American cuisine. The tortoises, they look like this weird sort of lumpy mass, don't they? Just this like long brown lumpy thing. They, it, it kind of resembles a turd, doesn't it? Just like a big, big long poo just across the, uh, the land here. You know what I mean? Kind of wriggling around. It's gross, but you can't, you can't deny it. It's kind of true. The chickens are actually wandering around. I have no idea why. I don't know what they're doing, but they've decided, you know, like the battle's almost over. They're going to have a fair crack now. Try and do their fair share of killing, and they're just dying. So I kind of hope that they stand back there a bit. Six, three, two, one. Done. I'm glad the chickens actually lived. I don't know, part of me's kind of happy, you know. I thought that was a that was a good outcome. Okay, let's take a look at making some custom units now that we can choose between ranged and melee. So, once you choose ranged, you can then go bullet, catapult, or rock. That's awesome. Okay, what about if we change it to bullet, but like the accuracy is like two? <laughs> what happens then? We got like attack speed, heaps of attack speed, Regular movement speed. I'm gonna call this guy a footman gun and just hear how he works. Oh, look at these guys Listen to the battle cries. So I've got 2,000 archers just straight up vanilla regular archers. Look at them They couldn't be any more regular than that and I've got these guys now despite the fact that they're carrying swords They should be firing bullets at a 2% accuracy. I just want to see what happens like if the bullets go everywhere, okay? Let's, let's, yes! <laughs> Look at this! That is so inaccurate. But, these guys, they're still dropping like flies! 
Oh, that's that's crazy. It's like some New Year's Eve fireworks or something. This is some straight up anime stuff here. Oh, this is so good. But the archers are actually doing something. The archers have still managed to kill 1,300 of these uh, these bullet wielding footman guys. I don't know. I don't even know what to call them. I don't know. It's an abomination. Look at him. Look at him vibrating. He's like, nah, nah. They just can't handle it. They can't. Even though it's two percent accurate, it's just it's just absolutely obliterating them. Sorry guys. Sorry. Sucks to be you, champ. <laughs> ah. How are they even getting me? Oh, I got him. Okay, that's all of them dead. That was weird. <laughs> I just wanted to see what was gonna happen. We've got almost 3,000 super catapults. Okay, I, I don't know what fire rate these guys are gonna be shooting these boulders. I'm not too sure, it's gonna be interesting. And I don't know how much health they have. So that's also gonna be a little bit weird to see. We've got heaps of these, what I'm calling a boulderoo. Okay, so it's basically a really fast kangaroo with a decent amount of health, not heaps, but does like a lot of damage, but is incredibly inaccurate when it comes to firing its boulders. We've got a thousand of those over there as well, and another thousand just over the hill there. So let's do this. Whoa, look at them. Oh man, look at this. It's like this weird swarm of boulders. What? <laughs> yes! Oh man, they are absolutely destroying these catapults. Wow, I did not expect that to happen so quickly. The sky is just like raining boulders at the moment. I can't even see what's going on. They're crouched over just doing this weird thing. And the sky is just full of boulders. These catapults are firing arrows. I don't know why, but that's what they're doing. That is so dumb. They're probably because they're custom units and by default it just goes to arrows now that they've got this new update. <laughs> Arrow firing catapults. That is so stupid. And the Boulderoos win even though I had to wipe out half of them. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna leave the video here. If you have any suggestions on any sort of future units or battles and things like that we should do, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any ideas of what sort of units you'd like to see in the future, we could make a suggestion to the uh, to the developer, and maybe they'd add it in. That'd be cool. But thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give us one of these ones, and I'll see you guys next time.